Hey guys, on today's IGL podcast, we're all hopped up on cold medicine and we're talking about Legend of Zelda 2. Legal drugs. Cro over the counter. Across the counter. I'm cold. Hey guys, welcome to another mighty edition of the IGL podcast. I'm your host, Justin Gentile. I'm Kyle Duncan Graham. And I'm AJ. We're also hosting the evening news, apparently. Yeah, we <laughs> sound, <laughs> sounds very regal of us. Where very are we at? Regal. I don't even know what the weather is. Well, I'll like tell you that. what, we're right here in the beautiful Hollywood Redux studio you see all around us. It is Bobo, beautiful. Isn't it? I feel like maybe my head is too big and you can't see the IGL logo. That's we what appreciate I worry about. both I the size of Justin. Your... Yeah, well, I, was that AJ? Saying, Where are you? Is that, that a cheap shot at oh, the size hey, of my head? Hey, AJ. Okay. Thanks, guys. It's like talking at a wedding hey, across the table we've... when the bride decides to put a giant flipping bouquet in the center. Oh, well, she paid a lot of money I'm for bouquet those flowers. and I'm beautiful. Guys, what I want to talk about is not the size of my head. We could do that all day. We appreciate well, it. We want to talk about, <laughs> I want to talk about Legend of Zelda. Retro gaming. Two. Mm, everyone's retro like, yeah, Legend of Zelda. Gaming. Everyone's like, Legend of Zelda 2. I, I put that together like, very slowly. I'm retro gaming. I'm the retro gaming guy, and I want to talk about Legend of Zelda 2. Easily the worst Legend of Zelda game. Agreed. But I think there are things about it now that have been like co-opted by other games. For example, it's the fact that it's it's got elements of like a side-scrolling like platformer, mm -hmm. and it's also got role-playing game elements at the same time. So it's one of the first games that was made that like really pushed those two genres together. As much as, like, and it is, it really is bad. Like, the controls are what? lousy, and, and, it's like... It's not as responsive as these modern games that It doesn't these feel, like. these <laughs> modern games with these kids today, and their Rocket League, and their Dishonored, and their Michael Fassbender, mm -hmm. what? Do you, do you not like Rocket League? I didn't. I, that's not what problem? I said. We still don't like child Not what I said. I didn't say we'd so never. Hate chair. He's too busy working. <laughs> that's an hate chair. I have to switch seats you know now. Any, any chair that Kyle chair. sits in is the hate chair. You know, chair. that's the chair. Oh, really? <laughs> I can well, get out of this hate chair. I guess the stink just Love follows the man. The Look, smoke follows beauty. Right? Legend of Zelda. I was okay, going to say, I respect it. that choice. Mm. I respect that choice, especially as someone like uh, Super Mario 2 was one of my favorite games just because of that. What? Mario. He said Mario. <laughs> Reduxgear.com. Fight it out. The, uh, <laughs> if you want to check it out, there's a shirt that references what we're talking about. The, uh, the I That was probably my favorite Mario because of its unique choices that they made design-wise. So I respect those decisions. I respect changing it up. Uh, it didn't have a gold cartridge, which was unappealing for me. Very unappealing. They had a gold child. sticker on the... Not the same. On the, it's not the same, though. This is a gray one with the... It felt like they were cheaping out, and that is sort of how the game feels. The same way that Super... The Super Mario Brothers 2 uh, Nobody was... Nobody says it like that. Yeah, except everyone <laughs> does. Uh, Super Mario 2 has the idea that like, it was actually just a port of Doki Doki Panic, and they had to make... They felt like they had to make the game different so American audiences they, would digest it. They had to rush that out. They were like... They had to rush it out. This feels... This... Even though they worked very hard and diligently on it, and uh, Miyamoto-san worked very hard on it, it still feels like they put no thought into it. For, <laughs> for starters, okay, so the game, this is the only actual sequel to any of the Zelda games. The rest of them either happen in like an alternate reality. They were doing alternate reality stuff since way before you're Star Trek. You're the Wind Trek Waker, you're on the boat. Right, you're, you're... or there are like prequels to those things. Star like, Trek. Mm, maybe guys, not. guys. No, uh, yes, Breath of the Wild. Are you okay? Do you no, need more I drugs? I have a confession. What's that? Dayquil? I've never played Zelda, so I have no the idea first, what you're talking about. First, that's <laughs> fine. That's totally fine. You. This is this is that's when I'm having a conversation you. with you, and like there are probably a lot of people in the audience who haven't ever played like the early Zelda games or not. But they just not pretend. Even one of them. Yeah. They just pretend. Yeah, and you're honest, They're and fake. that's what we appreciate about you. And you're also just on tons of legal drugs right now. Just oh my god, so many drugs. So many. I apologize for my state, guys. Well, robo She's tripping. Great. What do the kids call it? There's no, but robo this, is tripping? this is on purpose. <laughs> what do they call that? This right. is because of of uh, it's winter. You know, it's February. It's cold. Everyone's got cold. Everyone's got a cold. If right she now. were doing this in July, we'd have a fucking problem. <laughs> yeah, then we'd have to have some people to sit down intervention style. Right. The, That's uh, actually what this is. This is an intervention yeah, I'm sorry, for you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> if we the, um, because not just for my Benadryl problem, but for spotlight? also the fact yeah. that I've never played Zelda. Shame. This is a, this this is is a is not playing Zelda intervention. That's yeah. what this is. Okay. That's what actually Aww. it's a not playing Zelda intervention for <laughs> you, yes. Planet Earth. We want you to do it, even though we're this talking to you. Maybe this if you think we're talking to you. We are talking. We're mm -hmm. in a safe space but here. That's right. We are. <laughs> this is a safe space. So the game is the only one that's an actual sequel to one of the other games that precedes it. Now, the plot apparently is you're si you you play the protagonist Link. You are 16 years old now, and one of the 
one of the sages, Impa, comes to you, and uh, you have a mark on your left hand. You use this mark to open this door that's been closed for generations. And you go in there, and you see Zelda laying down like Sleeping Beauty, like she's caught under a sleeping spell, and it's your job to revive her. But Princess Zelda. Princess Zelda, hmm. but they say explicitly... It's not the same Princess Zelda you rescued in the first game. What? Was there like a fight? So, well, my question. Like hello, I have a question. Zelda? That's my question. Is ever, order, how or? many Zeldas are, are there that are princesses? I know one. The real Zelda, that's Ella please Fitzgerald. wake up. No, Zelda Fitzgerald. Oh, she was from the, a book, right? Who? Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? I think she. I think she was in The Great Gatsby. Zel- oh, is that right? I think so. Can we so. fact check that? The little Great Listen, Gatsby. No, we'll we get don't have to fact check that. It's okay. I got a okay. Yeah, I got a middle finger from. From our fact checker. The bourgeoisie. Right. Back so there. Is, that, is that it? He just has like a little thing that opens up things. And then he doesn't well, use no, it. He doesn't ever. Like, he never yeah, uses no. it. Like, because when you play the game, you just wait, you're just there in front of the altar. And like, it's hilarious that they say that he's 16 because this version of Link looks so gangly and weird. And like, didn't we all? The graphics are, yes. I mean, I get, I get that now that it's like, it harkens back to a time where I once could have been a young boy who saved the world. But. Multiple times they with somebody of the same silly. name. With a bunch of chicks, like, I just saved a bunch of gals named Becky in high school, and that's all I did. Well, no, I feel that way sometimes. That's it, it, So the game, that's just one of the problems that, like, just permeates every bit of it. Just right at the beginning, though. It just right yeah. at the beginning. Like, none of the, there was so much that happened in the very first game that came out in 1986, at least in America, it did. That's... There's so m- I know. It's wait, 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 wait. It came out in 1986 and he's 16? The first one. You couldn't have at least given him, like, the graciousness to get him past his awkward phase? Yeah. Like, he was God. younger. Well, technically, no, he was well, younger I in mean, the first one. We're saying yeah, in 1986, like he was even younger than 16. Right. Like, he's like know, a baby. 16, that's right. He was a little, he's a little impish yeah, he's town like folk. A now he's just a scraggly a, little impish. It's, yeah. it's really bad. He or she, maybe when Breath of the oh. Wild comes out on, uh, mm-hmm. on March 3rd, maybe you'll have the choice of being... Uh, Dual Zelda. Or Can you do that? Dual Links. That would be awesome. they, they have yet to uh, confirm yet to that. We'll everything. see. But that's, so that's one of the theories out there. We can say literally any awful rumor that we want. We can say that maybe that's part of the game. Breath of the Wild <laughs> takes place on Mars. That's you don't know. You don't know. Breath it's of the Wild. Hard to believe, isn't Breath it? Breath of the Alien Wild. Yeah. Because it's so, in space. Whatever. Anyway, I think... Westworld. Ultimate, <laughs> don't talk about Westworld. I want to talk game, about Westworld. The, right, game, the game is full of like... Even the, even though it has like so many glaring problems, I think I feel like the the view of it has like softened a little bit, and people now sort of like appreciate the game because again, the idea that it sort of pushed two genres together at once mm-hmm. is a really big thing. That's not a deterrent um, now. It's a, that they tried to do a lot. They want you, you know? to do that. They're like, oh, this game is this and this. Like Stardew Valley is like the farming game, but it also there's a combat element in it. Right, whatever they call that. So, like, the idea of wanting to combine these two things together is really, like, a big deal now. This, ah. just... And, like, this is the thing. Like, the game is such a conflict. It is good, and it's also just awful. And everyone you show it to understands... They either understand that dichotomy happening at the same time, or they just think it's awful. No one ever... No one looks at it and is like, that's an amazing game. It's really wonderful. But I still do think it's worth playing... So you can see what we are talking about. For getting stuck in the swamp, for learning how to be able to stab upward and downward. Like you need a gl- you need to get a, a globe it. or something You're to like learn how to do it. that. Let's I'm not it. selling sell it. it. I know it's people. difficult. It's difficult. But I would say is if they have it on virtual console or any of that stuff, go download it. It's only five bucks. It's just you a piece of that. history. It's something so nostalgic. It. Maybe it's the rose colored glasses I mean, I looking try back it. fondly. You do, you Maybe since I haven't played either of them, I could play this one and I'll be the only like I'll that'll be, be the one only. of three people that'll be like, That game was awesome. Yeah, because maybe be like AJ, AJ, it, no, there won't be another I would love Zelda. It that was number an one. one. <laughs> that would be the only the Zelda one. to you. Right. Because there won't be another princess waiting. There'll be just her. It'll just you be know? her. Awesome. And it, that thing what won't hear nice you out. What anyway. a nice note to end on, I think. Yeah. From, from everyone at Hollywood Redux, I want to thank you guys for watching this fine edition really of the uh, the NyQuil-assisted <laughs> Infinite Grenade Launcher podcast you donate, from everyone. donate, we can more drugs. If you thank donate, you. Just drugs? Gotta, we have and by donating, we mean right. get some t-shirts. Reduxgear.com. Yeah, no, no drugs. drugs. No drugs yet. No, no drugs. drugs. Uh, Reduxgear.com, though, you can get shirts. Yeah. And you can get all kinds of swag. Yeah. Well, from everyone at Hollywood Redux, we want to thank you guys for checking out this edition of the IGL podcast. Yes. I thank want to you. thank Nyquil and Dayquil yeah, for also making this quills, possible. Yeah, all the quills. All the quills. And 
that's going to do it. Uh, if you want to see me on Twitter, it's Justin underscore Gentile. If you want to see me, Kyle Duncan Graham on Twitter, that's at K Duncan G. And if you want to see what I tweet, I'm yes. at a l- no, that's not my. No, it's oh, not. God. So not Alyssa, oh, just Lissa J. Lissa J. 89. I could do it for her. It's okay, but I won't. She's you got to Lissa J. 89. So Learn it, live it, so love it. We'll Reduxgear.com. Check it out. We'll no see you guys way. next time. Bye. 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 Hey, did you like that? Make sure you subscribe and check out our other videos. And you could follow us on all of our various social medias. While I was talking, there was actually a new social media network that was already created, and we're developing uh, an account just for that. So be on the lookout for that one. I don't know the name of it yet until I stop talking. But check out over here. You could subscribe for more videos and go to RedoxGear.com for some awesome t-shirts. See you guys next time.